everyone, Matt here from Docs Running, and today we're going to do a review of the On Clown Surfer 7. So this version has made a huge number of updates. This is a lightweight training shoe, up-tempo shoe. It's a little bit more on that versatile side. I honestly have never tried this shoe before. I have, I mean, at least not run it extensively. I have tried it on before, but never gone and taken it through its paces. So this is the first time I've gotten to do this. And it's interesting because I'm taking this now in a completely different version of the past. So how is this different? They took out the plate. They've redesigned the cloud tech material here. Upper's different. It's just, they've totally redone the shoe and it's doing really, really well. So let's dive into some specs that I do have because I actually don't have any specs. My size 10 comes in at 8.9 ounces, which is really impressive, which means size nine is probably in mid to low eight ounces. So definitely in the really good realm of lightweight training shoes. There is again, the full Cl Cloud Tech sole here, which actually provides a really soft ride underfoot. The, it does feel like there's a high heel drop. The previous versions had a listed 11 millimeter drop. That's about what this feels like. I'd probably put it about 10. So higher heel drop for those who want it, but still a large amount of compression underfoot and not in a slow way, in a way that actually responds really, really well. The only challenge with this, I got to stay out first. It's not a stable shoe. Platform is very, very narrow. So those that need stability, this is not going to be a great option for you. Those that don't and just want a shoe that kind of gets out of the way for you, this is a really good option. So fit wise, fairly normal fit, a little bit more width in the upper, really nice and secure. But the ride was really interesting because it's on the lighter end and it's really a lightweight trainer. So if you want a higher heel drop and a shoe that can pick up and get some daily, a softer ride that can handle some daily training, but also responsive enough to handle some workouts. I've done a tempo run in this shoe. I've done interval workouts and longer efforts, which that was a little, a little iffy because it's not as stable. And it's done really well on, on all of them. So if you want a lighter weight training shoe or a shoe that can handle maybe some racing distances longer, this might be a good shoe for you.